I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Box is open. Here it is. I will show you guys the comparison shot. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be unboxing my new camera that I just got. I still have it in the box and I'm so excited. So basically, I currently have the Canon G7X Mark II. I actually got this in, I think, like February... Yeah, February 2022 and at that point this camera the Canon has already been out for a few years All to say this is really great as a beginner camera, but it is a bit dated before this one I actually had the Sony a5100 that was great except I didn't really need the full Capabilities of a mirrorless camera which basically just meant that the lens was interchangeable But I never got any other lenses for it long story short. I ended up getting the Sony ZV-1 that was actually the camera that I wanted when I was at the store because literally the day that I broke my Sony A5100 I was like I need a new camera and that's basically when I first started to commit to making YouTube videos which sounds like really strange because I'm still wrapping my head around the fact that this is something that I enjoy doing and it's an investment I think I just need to open this box because I'm way too excited and I'll share with you guys what I think about it obviously my first impressions but I also want to do a little comparison with the Canon G7X Mark II because I do have it. I plan to sell the Canon G7X. I mean, I really don't need two cameras and to be honest, both of them get compared to quite a bit because they are point and shoot cameras. They have a lot of <laughs> recognition in the vlogging space. So I'm just opening the box boxes open. What I wanted to also add is I actually got this open box from Best Buy. The reason I did that is because it is cheaper and retail price for this is in Canada is 900 and something dollars like close to a thousand i'll put the exact amount i got this open box so it was actually let me remember my math i'm pretty sure it was like 750 for 760 dollars which is still not cheap but it saved me a good like 120 to 140 dollars my math is probably all wrong but i'll put the prices and everything on screen i'm so excited so this is the Geek Squad certified open box. I actually just purchased an open box laptop, which was perfectly fine. So it made me realize like if it's open box and if you read the return policy and you read where it's actually coming from and the fact that it's from Best Buy, I felt like it was, you know, a safe bet. So I'm just gonna open it, they even sealed it. Things that I'm excited for with this camera and I know this isn't gonna be the most techy, you know, review or unboxing, but things that I wanted to talk about is what I feel like I was missing and what I am hoping to get out of the Sony because to be fair this Canon a lot of people still use it and I found myself comparing to a lot of people between the two cameras ultimately I think if you're just starting a YouTube channel and especially for vlogging like you can get away with using your phone even and I've done that for certain videos I still use my phone except on the day-to-day -day, I was just feeling like there were certain shots that weren't as crisp as I wanted them to be and especially I think for landscape shots which is basically when you're out and about and trying to get like a wider angle of scenery and stuff like that like that was really challenging it did not feel very crisp not to like you know just shit on the canon because it has gotten me you know through these last seven eight months but i was really looking to get just a little bit more i don't think i'll ever want interchangeable lenses but i might get a wide angle lens that fits the sony cv1 because you can get those attachable lenses which i'm interested in moment of truth comes with the manuals which i mean it's always good to have those i appreciate that all the papers are still here because i don't know even though i bought it open box i still have some reservations sometimes so let's go through the little accessories first it comes with the battery which i've heard a lot of things about the battery not being the best but I think I might get additional ones if I need to. It has this wind muff or I think people call it a dead cat as well in the biz, but it's basically just to go over the mic to help with, you know, wind and stuff like that. The USB charger or the micro USB, which I believe is how you actually charge the camera. And that's what I use for my Sony as well, my last Sony. So that's not news to me. Okay. 
Here's the camera. Oh my god. Ah! I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I just dropped it on the couch, but I need to be careful. Okay. Oh my god. Here it is. In case I didn't mention it, I am recording on the Canon G7X Mark II. I will show you guys the comparison shots in a second, but here it is. I actually didn't remember because I've, I've looked at this camera in person I didn't remember that the screen was covered which I think is nicer because I don't typically put a screen protector on my camera and I have a case for it when I'm out but oh this is actually a swivel oh I feel like a lot of people have thoughts about the fact that this goes out instead of up which is gonna take some getting used to but I think that's perfectly fine okay let me pop the battery in I I feel like I might not seem as excited as I am, but it's actually like 8 a.m. right now. So I'm just like trying to film this so I can use the camera for the day because I'm vlogging. I'm gonna do a week in my life and I would love to use this camera. So let me just pop the battery in. Dean is so excited. I do have a memory card that I'm gonna use for this. So, oh, oh my God. Okay, so the battery's actually super dead. <laughs> Open this up. I can already tell that the color is so different. All right, I just popped the memory card in. I just got a new memory card for this and the sun is in my face. So I don't know what happened, but I'm just gonna test it out. This is what it looks like with the Sony ZV-1. And I think it has uh, like the skin softening feature on, which I'm gonna have to turn off because it's a lot so i turned the skin softening off this is without skin softening also i haven't put the wind muffler on yet <clears throat> i wanted to see what the audio oh my god my dog i'm sorry i just wanted to compare what the mic sounds like without anything else because obviously the canon doesn't come with any wind muffling or anything like that so i wanted to see if this will help you know just give a comparison of the mic let's try some different type of shots and compare that here's a comparison of a closer shot this is my orchid here is my prayer plant i feel like the color is so different on the sony and I'm not changing anything in the white balance. I'm gonna show the shots completely uncolor graded so you can see exactly what you get when you just use the original settings. But yeah, I'm already noticing a big difference. The colors just look so much richer on the Sony. Here's what my dog looks like. What do you guys think? I feel like it looks so crisp and clear on the Sony. I mean, he still looks super cute on the Canon, but it's just not the same. Aww. So I also wanted to try what this would be like in lower light because I work in my den. This is basically the lighting situation, which is not great. Um, if I'm being honest, it's kind of hard to gauge right now because I feel like the Canon is being pretty good in responding. Oh, but the Sony has caught up. I feel like the Sony from a lot of videos that I watched, it typically takes longer to adjust the lighting. So, I mean, in this case, I think that's basically what happened. I'm going to have to take a look at the shots after to see how much crisper it is or if it is crisper. What do you guys think? Yeah, I don't know. Um, it did take a second though because when I was walking into this room, I feel like it was not really working. Okay, let's see the white balance. They're both basically just as bad right now because it's gotten super blue. We're back into the living room and I feel like the difference is I'm super washed out now on the Canon. And I think it's just because it's pretty bright here, which if you like that, that's cool. But I actually prefer to feel like the color is more true to, you know, the contrast in real life, which I feel like the Sony is. So I just wanted to share this because I feel like it is a common situation trying to adjust for low light. And 
I'm not gonna walk into a dark room because that's just not realistic. But in like this type of setting, you know, I feel like this cannon is getting kind of grainy, but what do you guys think? Okay, so I've just set the Sony on the tripod now because I wanted to quickly test out the product showcase mode. So this is a big selling point for the camera, not something that I absolutely needed, but if you've ever tried to show something in front of a camera and it takes forever to focus, this is the solution for that because it's supposed to instantly focus on the product and then back onto your face. So this is just the manual. Oh. Oh my god, I've watched this so many times and everyone's always so amazed, but it actually really is like that exciting. Okay, let's try something really small. My dog is amazed. Wow, that's crazy. That is absolutely nuts. Okay, I feel like I'm not gonna like need this all the time, but it is really nice to just have it because trying to get something to focus still takes time and the fact that this comes with the feature is pretty cool so I'm I'm pretty amazed by it. That's basically it. Um, let me know what you guys think. It's kind of weird holding two cameras. This is basically what I expected to be honest between the two cameras. Um, I'm actually not finding it distracting to have the viewfinder on the side but I mean I am used to using the Canon a bit more because I've been using it for the last seven eight months my dog is eating a leaf outside so i'm gonna wrap this up but thank you guys for watching i'm super excited about this new camera and i can't wait to do more videos let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you guys next time